somebody just called me and, and, and made my broadcast end. Well, they can call me back. All right, call them back, whoever that was. I don't know who that was. Let's fix that. Let's plan some makeup. Maybe I should have titled my thing, but I didn't feel like it. So, whatever. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm not reintroducing myself. Y'all can go check out the last scope before this. Check the replay out or read the bio. We're playing the makeup. I just got a phone call, and that's why it ended it. So, now, let me show you guys this product that I swear by. Hello, sister. Welcome, 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 welcome. Now, let's have a conversation, sisters. Is there anybody... Um, who has issues with pores. If you have big pores like me, I'm gonna show you how you can disappear those, um, make those pores disappear, okay? Hi, Ruben, hey, brother, hi, Alva, hello, Kita, hey, Emmy, hello, sisters, hello. So I'm gonna show you guys how you're gonna make your pores disappear, okay? This is called the Pore Professional Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. So if you are a person who has big pores, and I want y'all to see my pores, okay? You have this, so this right here, if you don't have this, I got this at Ulta. This is an amazing product. Um, and I got the big, big, big two because this is going to last a long time. A little bit goes a long way. You don't have to use a lot. And this is what we're going to do because I want y'all to see the difference from that side to that side. As you can see how big my pores are, I want to make sure that y'all see it really, really good. Okay, do y'all see my pores? Y'all see that? You can get this at Ulta, sis. And what you're going to do is... You're just gonna tap it in, okay? You're gonna tap it in. And then when you tap it in, you're gonna just basically kinda just let it dry, okay? Tap, tap, tap. And just a little bit goes a long way, okay? You're gonna just tap it, tap it, tap it. Don't give you validation, you give it. Amen, amen, Nirma. Amen, okay? Hi, sister. Can't stay too long, have to set up for a show. Carol's still talking. Tell my sister I said hi. Look, we be Snapchatting, honey. We be chatting on Snapchat, bro. I love Carol. And I was so happy to meet you both. I'm so happy to have met you both. I hope that I get to see y'all again. Are y'all come? I'm sure you're going to be there for the next period, right, Ruben? Okay. Alright. 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 So, we're just going to let that for about a minute. Let it sit for about a minute and not really mess with it. And... This product really, really works. I wouldn't buy it if it didn't work, but I love what it did for me. I think my snaps are boring because I really don't be Snapchatting like that, but I will. And I think I spend more time on here. That's why I'm not able to do it. Is this a natural product? Let me see. By benefit, you know what? It says oil-free, lightweight, translucent, and silky. Where's the box? Give me one second, sis. Let me read it, okay? It did? Well, let me get my ticket then. Because I don't want it to go up more again. Okay? This is not a natural product. Maybe I might create some. Why y'all starting, right? Maybe Juju might just create one. Hey, you never know. You know how my brain be working. Or is it just a... Oh, it's just a chat, bro. Probably not even really into this. It's no invite. It's just a chat. I don't mind. You know, we just have our little families. We're just doing makeup. Nothing big. Um, disparent. I don't know what that means. This right here is the bomb product. I want y'all to see. I have very big pores. And due to the fact that I have very big pores, this right here will literally help to diminish them if you have that problem. I'm literally putting on makeup. I'm probably about to put on a full face for you guys today. Hey, it's not. The bed is drying. My house is clean. So let's put on a full face makeup. Why not? Right? So I want y'all to see the difference from that side to this side. These are more apparent than this. When I put this on, it helps. And we're going to go on this side. And I just tap it in. Tap. That's all I do. I just tap. Go around my nose because my pores around my nose are big too. And I just tap. Okay? Yeah. Okay? And I just tap it in. I don't smudge it in. Yes, I bought this from Ulta. This, I purchased this from Ulta. You're not going to get the big one on Amazon. You would actually have to go into the store to buy the big one. And I should have bought another one. I'm probably going to go back and see if they have more. And I'll probably buy me another one. All because I swear by this product. When she put it, she even put it on top of my makeup. 
What do you do to clean your bed? She says, check out my scope. Check out that last, the scope that I put for the mattress. You'll see it. I did a full scope talking about that. So check that one out. And you'll see everything that I use to teach you guys how to clean your mattresses properly, okay? No problem, boo. No problem. Okay? So we got that in. So we applied the pore filler. So you can purchase this at Ulta. I'm sure you probably can buy it at Sephora too. Or you can purchase it at Amazon. Or, um, or you can... I said Sephora, right? Ulta, Sephora, and Amazon is the three places that I know right now that you can purchase this. I went to Ulta to get the big, big, big tube. You're not going to buy the big tube. So I spent like $40 for this. And this is a 1.5 fluid ounce. And I paid 40 bucks for it, okay? It's worth it. I love it. I love and swear by the product, okay? So now we're going to put this back in here. And then this is my little travel bag where I have all my little goodies. Isn't this pretty? Y'all yeah, know I love anything that glitz, right? Ooh, I got this for like five bucks at um Gabe's. So I put all my makeup in here when I um I saw it yesterday when I was yes. You saw it too, Nurma? And did you oh my god, did you buy it or you didn't buy it? So what we're gonna do is yes, oh my god, it was five dollars. It was five dollars at Gabe's. Y'all know I'd be loving me some stuff, right? Oh my god, I even if even if I'm going out and I'm trying to be all fan guys y'all be so mad at me do you know there was a bag i was gonna buy yesterday at marshall's but because i didn't have i didn't have enough juice on my phone y'all would just died i was in there with salah and i didn't have enough juice and i want to go back and purchase that bag i have to have that bag i just was impatient and i didn't feel like waiting on the line and i just wanted to help and get back home because i was talking to somebody on the phone he done turned me off all right okay you were having girl talk right now as we do on makeup so anyway this is by Ruby Kisses. This is an eye primer. So let's have our conversation. Let's have our girl talk. So anyway, um, so this dude that's trying to get to know me, do you pay? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all, sis. This dude who's trying to get to know Juju. Let's do the eyebrows first. This dude is trying to get to know Juju. Asked me, was like he wanted to see me. He wanted us to hang out. Okay. So he says to me, yes, Sharon. Yes, Sharon. Yes. The, 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 yes, that one. Now let's have some tea talk. Let's, let's have some tea talk. So let me tell you what he says to me. He says, um, he didn't say nothing mean. It's just I just got he, he needs to be trained. And if he needs to be trained, I have no problem training. So he says to me, uh, some game, some football game is coming on around six o'clock. So he wants to go to some bar to watch it. And I was like, okay, have fun. He was like, I really want you to come with me. Coming with you to what? To a bar? To go sit at a bar to watch a game? Didn't we have this discussion about me not liking sports? I don't like sports. I don't like sports and I'm not going to come sit at some bar to come and watch it with you. And you're just meeting me. If you want to get to know me, you're going to take me somewhere where it's going to be mutual, a mutual place where we can meet, where you like and that I like, right? And you taking me to a bar is not you getting to know me. You taking me to a bar to listen to all this noise and other men watching games and stuff, nothing that I'm interested in. Exactly. That's not where you take me. But I don't feel that I had to tell him that because I really wasn't even in the mood. I didn't feel like he had turned me off. So I just didn't feel like going to all that. Right. So he hits me back and he's like, Jew, I'm going to watch the game here. And then at 830, I'm going to go to the bar. Would you like to come with me? Will you join me? You know what I said to him? I said, no, sweetheart, you have a good time and watch your game. That was without me having to be rude. Right. Then he hits me back up. I, I went to sleep around like, I went to sleep, right? I ate, I went to sleep. And then he hits me back up and was like, would you like to go to the club? I'm hitting the club. Would you like to come? Or are we doing the club tonight? I didn't even respond back. How you go from the bar to now you want to take me to a club? Who are you talking to? I didn't even respond. That's the end of that conversation. That's the end of that conversation. See, let me tell you something. You need to learn how to tr train these dudes on how they're going to treat you. You understand? You want to get to know me, but then you have the audacity to invite me to a bar. Do you have the audacity to invite me to a club? 
Oh, he got the message, baby. Oh, he got it. So the next time when he contacts me again, he's going to say, hi, beautiful. How you doing? Where would you like to go? All right. He's going to ask me, where would you like to go? It's either that or he's not going to contact me no more. And really, if he contacts me, if he doesn't, if he does, which I'm sure he will, because I know he want to be around Juju. I'm not interested. And then if he asks me and says something stupid to me again, I'm going to meet him. And I'm like, I'm going to meet him the same place he met me. And I'm like, this is where you met me, right? You met me here and we sat down and we had a conversation, right? Yes. You like what you heard. I caught your eye. I piqued your interest. And that made you want to get to know me more, right? And that's why we exchanged numbers, correct? Correct. Okay. So if you met me in this nice atmosphere, how dare you ask to take me to a bar? How dare you ask to take me to a club? You didn't meet me in a club and you didn't meet me at a bar. You, bet, you met me at a nice, intimate establishment. A nice relaxing establishment so that should tell you what kind of woman you're dealing with right when we sat there and had a conversation now if you met me at a club then I can get that if you met me at the bar I can get that but you didn't meet me near those those places so therefore I'm gonna train you on how to treat me and if you can't get that through your head then you don't need to be talking to me and I'm gonna tell you have a blessed day so you got to meet people where they're at so I'm not going to be mean to him. Maybe he just doesn't know. Maybe he's never met a woman like me. Maybe the kind of women that he's accustomed to dealing with or are talking to accept that. Juju doesn't accept that. So I'm going to teach him how to treat me or how to treat a woman that he encounters like me. Okay? Because that's how I read, honey. Not me getting all I read and getting all ignorant and getting an attitude and being all slick at the mouth and all this other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He ex exactly, Emmy. He cares about what he likes. He don't care about what I like. That's why maybe you're 40 years old and you're still by yourself. Does that make sense? Probably that's why you're 40 and you're still by yourself and you've never been married. There's a reason. People tell you what's going on with them. I'm like, how old are you? I'm 40. You've never been married? Nope. About one child. How old is he? Oh, he's he's about to he's 18, right? Or 21. I think he said 18. I'm like, okay. So I listened to what he said to me. I said, all right, I'll just sit back and watch from now. Let me see what he does. I knew there was something wrong. I just didn't know what it was. But let me see what he does to let me know. He started speaking. That's why I say you need to calm yourself down. You don't necessarily have to meet people and go out with them. Don't do that. Wait for a little bit. Wait about two to three weeks before you start going out with someone that you just met. Talk to them on the phone and get to know them. And I didn't say through text message. You need to talk to them on the phone and get to know them. See what they're talking about. They'll start spilling the beans to you. They'll start telling you so much about themselves before you even make that lunge or take that leap to go out on a date with them. They'll tell you about themselves. Guys, we're going to eat. We're going to go to, um, we're going to eat to eat, guys, okay? We're going to continue our day and we're going to go out to eat because I'm going to look cute today. And hit these streets today because I feel like having girl talk today. Today's Sunday. Do y'all mind spending the day with me? exactly exactly you give him a chance i gave him a chance yes i had to give him a chance oh this is concealer sis i'm using my 10 color camouflage palette i'm so hungry come on let's go out let's go out on a date ladies let's go out on a sister date okay but why not look cute doing it let's go out and eat mm -hmm. so and i was just so turned off by it and he didn't hit me up yet he went to the club. So I'm like, you're 40 and you're going to the club? Mm -mm. I don't need a grown man. If I wanted a kid, I would date a kid. I would be dating a 30, you know, maybe 33 and below type dude. See, I don't talk to young men. I don't got time. I ain't got time to babysit. I ain't got time to hold your hand. So I'm not going to talk to no man who's 33 and below. If you're my age or younger, nah, I don't even want to talk to them neither. I like, I'll talk to, you got to be at least 36 years old for me to even talk to you. You can say what you want. I don't care. If you're not 36 and above, because I feel like men who are about 36, they have an idea on where they want to go in life. But then you might just meet those men who are a little bit older, who still don't have it together. Okay? Yes. And 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 in business, I meet a lot of successful men. I know a lot of successful men, honey. Okay? But let me tell you something. I meet a lot of successful men, but when they meet me, they can see I could care less about their money. I don't care about your dollars. I don't care about that. 
I want to know how you're going to treat me because you could be a man that has a lot of money, but you have no substance. You don't know how to treat me. You don't even know how to take care of me. You don't even know how to approach a woman like me. So your money means nothing to me because it's your money. It's my money when we are together, when we are joint together, when we're married. Does that make sense? But before that, boy, I don't care if you dating him. I don't care how long you've been with him. His money is his money because you have no rights to it. Because if he walks away from you, it's not your money. If you ain't married to him, it doesn't matter. So stop like, oh, my money got this. My man got that. Oh, my man balling. He got this nice car. He got this nice house. He got that, 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 that. But it ain't yours, boo. Because if he were to break up with you today and start cheating you with, some, with somebody else and then he walk away from you, ain't nothing you can do. You can't claim nothing. You ain't married to him. So hold your horses and relax. And stop, stop being hype about my man does this and my man does that. You don't own none of it. Okay? And that's just real talk. Not a lot of women want to hear it. Oh, he's my boo. We've been together for 8, 9, 10, 12 years. But he ain't married you, though. He ain't married you, though, baby. You ain't got... You've got nothing. That's nothing. Nothing. You can't call out nothing, boo. I don't care how long y'all been in a relationship. You can't call out nothing. Because if he says today or tomorrow... Exactly. Because if he wants to get up today or tomorrow and walk away from you... And leave you which way you came, honey... He can do that. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. So, and I be seeing these women to be going crazy. Be like, oh, he loved me. He loved me. He could love you today, baby. But then he could really find the woman of his dreams. The woman that he really, really wants. That ain't you. And he gonna leave you and he gonna marry her. Isn't that what happened to Juju? Ain't that what happened to Juju? It happened to me, didn't it? Because if I was real... No, 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 no. Well, we didn't... Okay. We didn't get married because I really didn't want to get married, okay? I held it off because I didn't trust him. And I was not rushing to get married. But when he left, a year later, he married someone. He married someone. Are they happy? More than likely not. More than likely not. I know they're not. Because I already know what I had for five and a half years. She didn't. Because she had just got divorced. Just, just got divorced. Like, n not even a year. Like, I think she had just got divorced. No, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Virginia, sis. We put the primer on the eyes, okay? And now you, you literally married into a situationship. That's what a lot of these people be doing. They marry into situationships. That's why I say, for me. I'm going to make sure I got mine. I'm going to make sure I'm good. Exactly. I already knew what time it was. Not me. Uh-uh. I already knew what time it was. Ain't nobody setting Juju up for no okie doke. I'm going to always make sure I have myself in order and have myself all the way in check before I put myself in a predicament that I can't get out of. I'm just saying. In this day and age, honey... The DMs is real. Those DMs is real. Wow. You. Wow. Wow. I'm just saying. So. Not saying, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. You make sure you all the way in order first. Okay. Because then you hear the excuse, oh, I'm not looking for marriage. I don't want to. Just because I don't marry you doesn't mean I don't love you and blah, blah, blah. And all this other blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something, honey. Me 